Take three. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello, this is Leo with Scraptastic Patchwork, and this is Ron, my husband, the designer of our mask that we created. And we did this, um, we did this second video for two reasons. One, to introduce Ron's new sizes that he created and two to answer some questions that people had. So do you want to talk about why you decided on making some sizes, different sizes? We now have three sizes. The reason being uh, for my nieces and my niece and nephew who are 11 and five months and the adult side was way too big. So this is the size that he created for um, our, is he 10 or 11? He's 11. Oh, okay. Um, and then this is the baby size for our little precious Lily. Isn't that cute? It is cute. Yes. It's so very cute. He is cutting out the new pattern. So on this video description will be now three PDFs that are linked. Uh, the adult size, the child size, and the baby size. And we took it off Etsy. I could not change the last video um, when I, the talking part <laughs> so that I could show you that the link was different now. Um, but I did change the link in that video that goes directly just to the PDF for free. So in this video, you will see all three links for these PDFs. Okay. So he's going to cut out the patterns just to show you one thing. And do you want to explain that or do you want me to? Okay. So on the original one, that's the pattern. There were two pieces. And the reason why we have two pieces is because we wanted it to fit on one sheet of paper. This little guy here is just so that we could fit it on the piece of paper as well as you can adjust the size since that goes around different people's heads. So you either set it like this on your fabric or you can overlap to adjust. And that's just a measurement that you would take with a measure tape or something. And then you would just tape it or pin it. This is the yeah. lift yeah. size. You can still see the A and the B it's just overlapped, so they line up, the A and the B line up. Now you have your full mask, but like she said, this does not fit on a single piece of paper. Right. So uh, you would just lay it on the fold of your paper, of your fabric like this and cut the whole thing out. And then when you fold it out, that's your whole piece of uh, your mask. You want to show your templates? So we started, we were making a lot of them. She was making them, like we said before, for hospitals and others. So... Um, this is the one I started out with, the standard one, it's just a pop top or pop box uh, with the fold on it, but I was the one that was cutting it out. I don't do quilting and I don't do sewing, so it's easier for me to make bigger ones. Now this here is the leaf size, but I can cut this all out at once, and this is the lily size. Again, they're just out of, this is a beer one and this is another pop one. Then when we started making even more, we're, we're literally making hundreds of these things. I got these. It's it's not really plywood. It's that heavy tag board, heavy press board. So this is the original mask. This is the lathe, and they're just different colors, so you can see the sizes better. And this is the lily. And again, they're named after my nephew Lathe and my niece Lily. So the darts are different. Yep. Um, and and you will see that on the patterns themselves. But this he made these just so. It's much easier for your rotary cutter. The rotary cutter, I can stack six, mm -hmm. six up with this, press down on it, and run the rotary cutter all around it. But, and so we were, I was cutting six at a time. But again, that was easier for him to for do me. a full template like that. Whereas, you know, you just fold it, fold your fabric, put this on there, and then cut your pattern out. And that's what, like this, this, this style. Right. This is how she showed me how to do it. And if you're a quilter and you understand that, that's great. Obviously, we're not in her quilting room anymore. Oh, yeah. this, is, this is my shop. This is a shop. So this is my wood shop, metal shop, whatever. It was easier for me and how I think to make these big, huge things. Yeah. 
So feel free to do that. And, and that brings up a good point. Um, we are offering this for free. I wish I could have offered it for free from the very beginning, but I'm new to this, so I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I don't mind if you use this pattern for yourself and you even, you know, make a copy of it and use it for somebody else. You can give it to somebody else. Um, what I don't want, and it's legally protected because it is copyright law, um, do not take my name off of it and slap your name on it and then sell it. You cannot do that. That's illegal. But as far as uh, making another copy for someone else to use, we want as many people to be able to make as many masks as they can right now. So I have no problem with that. Just don't sell it. That's a naughty thing. Okay, so what we have found from the comments that we have been getting, um, his aunt made a whole bunch of them and brought them to a nursing home that, uh, what did she say? The, the mask that we originally made, that Leah originally made, had the two ties on it. Yeah. And people in nursing homes and people that have dexterity issues, yeah, they can't tie that. And if somebody does put it on them, they have a hard time. Maybe it moves. They can't handle that. This design here, even with dexterity issues and being older, they got them right on and right off easily. They had yes. no issues. And they, they said they love these. So that's great for older folks um, or anyone that has arthritis or anything like that. Um, secondly... Uh, I got a comment from somebody about a beard. Now, Ronnie has shaved, shaved his it off. beard off. But uh, these cover beards much better. Yep. Especially like the fleece ones. Because that's nice and, and big. Because, of course, you're with seam allowance, you're losing that with this one. But it's still pl plenty big. You know, you're getting around your jaw. And I've got a huge head, so. But... For guys that have big, huge beards, this is a really good one because you need to cover that beard. And we thought, I thought this was going to be very hot, um, mm -hmm. and it's not. This breathes very well. For myself, it's stretchy, so it doesn't pull on you. These are, some people like these more. I like these better, and I know my brother likes these better, too. He works outside all day. So he's wearing these, but his son has one just like this that he when he transports them. And what we have found too, what, you know, they're doing research now. And as far as the best material, quilting cotton is really up there. Yep. So when you make these uh, sewn ones with two sides, quilting cotton, if you can, if you have it in your, in your stash, that is excellent because of how quality it is. So things don't get through. And then this is just, you know, flannel is soft and it's yep. nice and it's it's nicer for your skin okay so that was what we wanted to cover um any other questions well, that i'm is, not this is the size differences if you oh, yeah. get them that's why i cut these out here while you're here i can show you just tape the little tabs on the ends on these are your size differences and when they're done these are your size differences yeah and the other one, other thing is the baby one. It is, it does fit on yep. one page. So there it is. Um, as far as instructions go, I, it's real simple. So it's just a matter of you sew your darts first, and then you sew the two layers together. Uh, flip it, top stitch, and then you sew on your velc or your hook and loop. Or um, as I said in my tutorial. And we will link that first video again. Uh, you can also do a button with a buttonhole. And someone uh, included a picture that they did and they did a loop. Um, so it's even stretchy, even if you put a button on it. So that's a really good idea. So I think that's it. Um, guys, let's continue to make these. Make mem Remember, you need multiple of these because if you use right. them, you need to wash them. So it's really a good idea. We have a, a little... Uh, bin of a whole bunch of them that we just keep rotating. So I think that's a good thing to do. So stay safe and um, make your masks and let's let's beat this thing. Yep. Wonderful. Take it easy. Okay. Be safe. Watch your families. All right. Bye. Bye.